women empowering women through work, art, creative processes, and food. Four beautiful and inspiring magazines launch nationwide, and their incredible creator and editor-in-chief lives right here in Utah. Joe Packham lives in Ogden, here to talk to us about these magazines. And in fact, the rest of our show today, Good Things Utah, brought to you by Joe. <laughs> Anything I can do to help. Thank you so much. I mean, this is all about Good Things Utah, though. We it love is. stories and featuring stories of empowering women. Tell us about your magazines and how they came to be. Um, I've been in publishing for 40 years, and I absolutely love my magazines, right? I started with Hardbound Books, and about 10 years ago, I moved into magazines. I got an offer I couldn't refuse. So I moved into magazines, and we started with one, and now we have four. And I have to tell you my secret, because we just got back from New York yesterday, and um, I had the, uh, the same publisher for 10 years. And then last year, I moved over to Distacor Publishing out of Canada, and in our industry, the National Magazine Publishing Association, they, Mr. Magazine, Samir Hussein, has an awards every year for the 13 hottest launches for new magazines, right? And because our four magazines were so well done, they combined all four to one, and we were honored with the number one hottest launch magazine in 2018 in the world. Congratulations. It's a big deal. This is hundreds of magazines. <laughs> 790. <just> 790 <laughs> competing for that spot. Why was yours chosen? What makes it unique and different? We don't have advertising, and all of the stories are written exactly by the women that we feature. So we correct their spelling because I think that's really important. But we don't change their grammar or their punctuation because I believe that the women that we feature who are will never be on the cover of a big magazine, will never be one of the 50 most powerful women in America, should have the ability to tell their story. So we actually let them write their own stories and tell their stories in their own words, and we don't edit it. So, because I believe that you write the way you speak to mm. each other, and I want everybody to hear their story as if they're sitting at the kitchen table. So it's sincere and honest and inspiring, and so I think because it's all about the women that we feature, it, it really isn't me. Well, I love these magazines. story but. is powerful, though. You don't have to be a powerful person you don't. to speak powerfully, especially through words. Well, and especially because the backbone of America is the small entrepreneur. I mean, you you know, yes, the the famous ones get all the publicity and mm -hmm. they have all the backing, but it's this it's the small entrepreneur who goes to work every single morning and is there all night and trying to raise her family and trying to do it all deserves to tell her story the way she wants it told. Is it about women in business? This one is about women in business. Work is all about the small artisan entrepreneur. Um, where women create is all about the artisan in her studio. Where women cook is all about the foodie who's passionate about all things food. And what women create is an anthology about the passion and the process of what women make with their hands. Um, there's something you also utilize called AR, or augmented reality. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean, Joe? Um, it means that it almost pushed me over the edge, and I almost <laughs> lost my career. But um, augmented reality is... If you're a techie and a young kid, right, everything is augmented reality. But in the publishing industry, um, it's never been done before. So we took and created um, an augmented reality video, which means you have an app on your phone. You hold it up to the cover. Okay, so and, show me. Get okay. out your phone. Let me see so the app. Here's the app. Okay, there it is. And so you hold it up to the cover, mm -hmm. and the cover comes to life through the app through the app and then the video starts you're right now i'm looking at the words <laughs> coming because you took a shot of that oh and now i'm seeing the video right. of the people inside the so, magazine exactly is this the way that magazines are going to continue to be relevant in the I, future well we don't know right so the thing about magazines is everybody thinks magazines is on are on their way out but informational magazines like newsweek and time are on their way out. I mean, they're like 20 pages now, and you can get all of the information online. But beautiful magazines that are all about the photography and the inspiring stories are doing better than they've ever done. But that doesn't mean that we don't have to always be relevant to this generation. Right on the edge right of on technology. Edge. So and we're, that's what this does. Yes, it um, does. Women's Day. We need to mention that to oh, everybody. Oh, International Women's Day. This is what Where Women Create Work is all about this issue. Um, and we're actually on a six 
six-week tour starting Monday. Um, we go across the U.S. back and forth for six weeks um, to all the conventions and the big um, events to promote International Women's Day. And we take it from the perspective of the entrepreneur. So, because that's my passion, because that's what I think I am. I, well, you absolutely <laughs> are with that award as well. So how can people subscribe to your magazine? You can go online. It's at wherewomencreate.com. And um, we're the highest grossing magazine at Costco. And we're also number two in our category I'm so at Barnes & Noble. excited for you. Thank Joe, you. that lives in Utah, <laughs> has created something globally yes. and internationally uh, yes. used by women around the world. Um, thank thank you. you so much for being here. And thank you for making our show incredible. We're continuing mm -hmm. our International Women's Day coverage next on Good Things Utah.